Anyways, I'm real comfy because I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a get to know me video and we'll be sharing some things that you might know, you might not know about me. And yes, if you guys are excited for this video and to get to know me, please continue watching. Do not click off. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, let's go. Um. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here and I hope you're doing well. On this channel we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. And this is a little bit of a lifestyle update. Um, get to know me video because it's been a while and we just need to get reacquainted with one another, okay? Your girl has a microphone now and well I hope it's recording all of this because I'm so excited right now. Anyways, I'm real comfy because I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a get to know me video and we'll be sharing some things that you might know, you might not know about me. And yes, yeah, the first question is, who's your hero? To be honest, I know it might sound cheesy or it might sound like whatever to you, but in all honesty, my mom is my hero. I think about like her life from, you know, when she was younger into adulthood, the fact that she was darker skinned that was made fun of, the fact that she still lives life like everything's okay and puts a smile on her face and you know she's able to push through like if you knew my mom's story and to see her still continue with life and you know look out for her children and you know everyone has their faults but like my mom I know for sure has my back from day one uh, despite <laughs> the things that I put her through because I put her through a lot more than I put my dad through so like I'm just so grateful that she's my mom and she still loves me she still looks out for me she's there for me I live on my own but I know like yo she would cook for me she would do like literally anything like I could stay by her and be treated like a queen um, which is you know says a lot about the relationship that we have so yeah it's really really cool we're gonna go ahead and open up the other one yeah these wines I should have been had these open and just ready to try but you know what we winging it right now as I open it the next question if you could live anywhere where would it be okay <laughs> there's a question that I was ready for because I've been asked this question multiple times in life and I've always said that like I want to have a house in Cayman Islands. I don't know what it was. Maybe I saw it on TV and I was like really attracted to it. But I just love, they're like, welcome to Cayman. And that's how they say, they call it Cayman Islands. But um, I, I really want to go there. I want to at least visit, but I can also see myself actually living there because it looks so beautiful. And like, yeah, it's just like the, the vibe, the aesthetics. Like I love Guyana, don't get me wrong. And I love New York and all that stuff, but <sighs> to live in the islands, Cayman Islands, a different vibe, a different location. Um, even for a few years, like, I think that would be really, really cool. So that's something I want to do for sure. Cayman Islands, yep. That's it right there. Cayman Islands. All right. What is your biggest fear? Ooh, my biggest fear. Guys. <sighs> Let's see. Fear, fear. I mean, I have no reason to fear in life, but if I had to choose a fear, I would say. But yeah, my biggest fear, that's a really good question. Um, I always fear um, like living life without really living life. Like, you know, we're all here for a reason. We're all here for a purpose. But if I go through my life, and don't fulfill the thing that I was placed here for. Um, I feel like that would be my biggest fear. Like when I die, I have to answer to God. Like, what did you do with your life? Oh, you know, I just lived, I just lived life. I just chilled. But it's like, no, like I did what you sent me on earth to do. And I fulfilled that. Like, I want to be able to say that on judgment day. Like that's my biggest fear of like not fulfilling all the things. Cause we have, we all have so many gifts and so many talents and so many things that like God has placed within us that like if we don't like live life to its fullest extent then all of that just goes to waste so I don't want that I don't want that to be me all right cheers all right while we try to open this up what is your favorite family vacation okay 
Where did we go? Oh, I don't even know what year this was. Maybe it was 2018, 2017, 2019. I don't know. It was probably 2018 or 17. Um, my family and I went to the Poconos for my dad's birthday. And um, it was just like a quick weekend trip. But um, it was so good to like get out of the city for a little bit and explore. We went to so many places like this one, obviously, you know, pre-pandemic, all the stuff was open. Things in the Poconos are much cheaper than things in the city. So we went out like every single night, um, every single day. Like we just went out, we ate, we, the hotel we stayed at had like really good food. They had a nice little pool. We went out to like the arcade. We went to the movie theaters. Um, we went on a helicopter tour uh what else we just did all of these random things and it was so nice to see my dad like kind of step out and like be a kid because he is very childish that's where i get my like silliness from uh which i love like you know you can still be like childlike and live live life to its fullest um so like my dad was at the arcade and he was competing to get all the tickets and like you know him getting on the helicopter ride he absolutely loved it my brother wants to be a pilot so he absolutely absolutely loved it um woo, yeah and then like my dad he also loves the arcade he's hilarious not just the arcade but also the casino so like we made sure we went around and did a lot of things but just seeing my dad like want to continue playing and want to continue competing and getting all the tickets i was like yo you are hilarious and then also finding out my dad actually knows how to swim but he swims like what i call that the like some gt people be like the backyard trench kind of swimming um yeah he knows that like <laughs> some wild stuff so i was trying to learn and like it was a fail but um yeah we had a lot of fun and we got to like know each other in a different light and I just love vacationing with my family. I love vacationing. Y'all know this. But um, it was really um, nice doing it with my family and just getting to know them a little bit better, you know? Uh, by the way, I'm trying to... It's all good. Okay, I got to get through some more of these questions. So while I'm opening this, I'm going to answer like two of them. What would you change about yourself if you could? Um, to be honest, I love the way God created me. I know that sounds cliche, but like... I really do love the way I am. The only thing I would change is that, yo, I overthink so many things that, like, I don't act right away. So, like, something can get me so annoyed, but then I think about, like, yo, how does it impact other people or the people that are looking and, like, around me? I think about, like, the consequences for the way I react and how it can impact even the person that hurt me. Like, you know, I, I think about all of those things versus, like, yo, this is how I feel. I mean, we may say it's a good thing, but I feel like it doesn't work for my benefit because oftentimes people don't understand that something really hurts or something really bothers me or really makes me angry. And, um... They wouldn't know until I cut them off. And I am, listen, once you cut off, like, it takes a lot for me to make that decision. But once you cut off, it's like, you do not exist to me. Like, you know, so it's not a good thing because it's like without warning, you know, like you would think without warning um, that like you're just gone out of my life. Like, you know, a lot of the times I do give people chance after chance, but um, it's just, I hate that about myself. Ooh. I hate it about myself that I don't straight up be like, yo, I don't like when you do this or I don't like when you say this or this bothers me. Um, and it just, it doesn't work out in the end because I'm not being as vocal. So um, instead of worrying about how other people feelings, how other people would feel about it, I need to start thinking more about like myself and how this is making me feel right now in this moment. Um, even though I don't want to come off as angry and stuff like that, which brings me to the next point what makes me really angry is when people lie at me this is the question what makes you really angry <laughs> um when people lie to me i don't know if i said lie at me wow we only had three wines so far let's get it together but um yeah i don't like being lied to i am a very truthful person and i will tell you like my, a lot of my friends are like nah you can't say that nah you can't tell this person that nah you can't say it. like they are my filter uh, because I'm so brutally honest, especially with like somebody that I might be talking to and things like that. I'm just like, this is just what's going on. And like, I don't like being like, keep, I don't like being secretive because I feel like 
at the end of the day when you put all your cards out there like people have a decision to make and that's just what it is um versus like well i'm gonna hide this thing and i'm gonna hide that thing and then you're being manipulative like i don't like that do not lie to me just be honest i'd rather be hurt with the truth than to find out the truth later on and believe this facade or whatever you put on you know so like whether it's like my friendships like you really have my back do you have my back when people are talking about me or are they coming to you because they know you don't really have my back and y'all just talking 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 so like um i don't like being lied to and it like one lie literally just one lie makes me lose all trust for you like just don't do it just don't like it doesn't make sense so anyways we're gonna try what motivates you to work hard what motivates me to work hard i got bills to pay <laughs> no i'm so serious i have bills like um i have to pay off student loans i have to pay off credit card bills um and just the fact that i'm like living on my own i have to pay for my rent i have to pay my light bill my internet gas like i have my boutique um that i the website that's up and running like i have a lot of things that i pay for and the life that i'm living right now like that motivates me to work really hard because I would not be able to afford it if I didn't work, you know, if I didn't do the things I needed to do. So cheers to that. Ooh, okay. Now, what is your favorite thing about your career? Oh my God, the kids, the kiddos, y'all. I love working with kids because they keep me young. I mean, I am young, but they keep me young. Kids are entertaining. Like halfway through a lesson, somebody would crack a joke and it kind of applies because it like makes sense like my third graders especially I had them I think I told you guys this I had them in my first grade class and like seeing how they matured into third graders and like they actually get it like they actually you know they're like mini adults so like when we crack jokes like it's so funny like it's so relevant to like the conversation and half of the time like they just legit say stuff because they want to make me laugh and it's the best thing i have some kids that bring me breakfast some days <laughs> which is hilarious like they don't need to but they choose to they're like yeah miss sam here you go i'm like you're so sweet um but yeah just being around the kids being with them i hope that they're not looking at this video we're 20 something minutes in they should not be looking at this video because they're under 21 so if you are watching this video sweetheart get off i love you but get off <laughs> but um yeah i tell them sometimes that i love them but i feel like they know um so i try not to say it too much because then they milk it and they're like you love us and i'm like yeah i guess <laughs> but yeah i love the kids like legit like i love being around them i love teaching them i love seeing their like a light bulb go off above their heads whenever they're learning something new and they get really excited about learning um i just wish i kind of had that relationship with my teacher when i was younger because it's like you're an adult and you're teaching me all these things and you're excited about me learning and understanding things that you know and like you're sharing with me so yeah i love teaching the kids and being around them it's the best thing ever that's obviously why i'm a teacher so yeah Mm. so the next thing what is my what is your biggest complaint about your job guys my biggest complaint is lesson planning because to be real to be honest you can plan 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 all you want the kids determine if you get through your lesson the kids determine if you need to reteach that lesson the kids determine if the lesson is actually effective because you know what if they don't understand and they didn't learn anything from that lesson you have to reteach it or you're gonna have to re like tweak it a little bit and make sure it makes sense because it's not gonna hit every kid not every kid is gonna understand and so i don't really like the lesson planning aspect because it's not always helpful to all kids and um i mean i'm not saying i'd rather wing it but that part with like finding out what works for all kids is the hardest part about your job you know and that it comes to the territory i'm not like complaining to the point that like oh i hate it get rid of lesson planning but it's just like 
it can be frustrating because you could be so excited like yo i have this bomb lesson plan like the kids are gonna love it they're gonna be so excited there's a video added to it da -da -da -da. like you could be super duper excited and not get through your lesson and be so annoyed like so annoyed so that's just what i've been thinking like i don't like that part of it but um otherwise teaching is great become a teacher if you're interested hit me up um my instagram has my email i believe my bio here has my email just email me if you're interested in being a teacher and you have your bachelor's degree i got you let me know but um yeah that's about it anyway oh what is your proudest accomplishment yeah so eight years ago i was in high school <laughs> and i'm getting old i was in high school my senior year of high school right and uh, I just got a reminder on Facebook about this dance that I did for the talent show. It was myself and about three other girls. And we're all from different countries. Guyana, that we had someone from Jamaica, someone from Haiti, and someone from Nigeria. So we all came together and we danced to this song called Antenna. Should do it, Antenna. Should do it, Antenna. I don't know the actual words, but that's what it sounds like. Um, and so we created a dance and like collaborated with different dances that we saw to do the song, right? I gotta get some chocolate, hold on. And so, when we did it, we tried out what part of the dance, cause we didn't have the whole thing down. So we tried out. A lot of us were actually trying out separately. I think I was trying out to like sing, um, like a duet. And two of the girls were doing a dance and then the other one, she was one of my cheerleading like buddies and we were already in the show anyways because the cheerleaders were in the show but we wanted to do something a little different a little separate so then we just ended up coming together and saying yo why don't we collaborate and do the dance so i was like okay great so we came together we would practice at my place and stuff it was real real fun because yeah we made it our own we saw different videos we got different inspirations and we put together the dance it was like puppetry it was um a lot of miming it was a lot of wine in your waist because you know we west indian slash africans so um it was so good and i was like girls my goal now because they already had a finale um segment i was like my goal now is for us to be the final like show we want to be in the finale we want to be the last thing that everyone sees right so we I had to switch to my uh, phone because, yeah, my camera battery died and I don't know where the battery charger is. Like, all three batteries are just done. So, yeah, we're just going to move along with the rest of this video because the show stops for nobody, for nothing. So okay, so as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted... Um, I really, really, really wanted to do the finale, but, um, so people that were doing the finale, they were actually this, these twin girls, they're also Guyanese, love them, they were amazing, but, um, I guess something happened with their routine, or maybe it wasn't, like, put together, I don't know what it was, but, um, they saw ours, and they saw how far along we've gotten, and they were like, you know what, you guys are gonna be the finale, so we worked our butts off, and we were able to do the finale, and, it was so great because everyone at the end was like, encore, encore. And then to just let that be the last thing that everyone saw and remembered, it was so beautiful. We celebrated all our different cultures and all our um, like different types of dances that we have. And we're able to merge that in such a beautiful way. Like I will always remember that dance that will always stick out to me because it was one of the best that we've ever had. So yeah, it was really exciting. But anyway, next question. What is your child's pr proudest accomplishment? I don't have a child, so we're going to move on. What is your favorite book to read? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> a really good question because, um, I don't know. Okay, so this might sound boring, uh, but my favorite book to read <laughs> is the Psalms, like in the Bible. I love it because I think of David a lot, like King David and how he was so imperfect and how he made so many mistakes in life, but God is so forgiving. And yo, 
the amount of times he's sinned and the amount of times he's cried out to God and praised him in the midst of trials and tribulation, I'm like, that is my goal right there. Like, I want to be on that level, on that wavelength with God, because I know I'm not perfect and I know I've made mistakes along the way and I'm going to continue making mistakes. So, yeah, um, the way David prays and praises God is an inspiration for me because I aspire to be on that level. I mean, I don't want to make as many mistakes, but, you know, we're all sinners at the end of the day. So, like, I want to be able to pray and praise God in the midst of everything, you know? So, mm, 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 mm. makes you laugh the most. Corny jokes. Um, I always remember this time on the bus uh, from school, like, when I was in high school. Um, we, we, my friends and I, after school would go and get Laffy Taffy's from this place. And they used to sell it like bulk, five cents each. And so we would all get like mad Laffy Taffy's. And just like, we wouldn't really eat it all the time, but like we would just open it up and start like sharing. We would just, I think they were like five cents a piece or something like that. And um, yeah, we would just go buy it. And like, we wouldn't even eat it like that, but we would go and like, Look at the jokes in the back. And they had like two jokes per Laffy Taffy. Um, so like we would just, you know, on our way home, get on the bus and just start sharing the jokes. And there was this one really, 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 really corny joke that was like, what is a, what type of shoes do mice wear? And the answer was squeakers. <laughs> so corny. Um, but I guessed the answer as my friend asked it and we were just cracking up. One, because it was so corny. Two, the fact that I understood and knew the answer to the corny joke. And three, because I started laughing, it just made it even more funny. It was like, bro, what? But yeah, I love, love, love corny jokes. The cornier, the better. They make me crack up. I love when the kids in my class come up with like really corny jokes and they're just like trying to get me to laugh because I really, really do enjoy corny jokes. Like they, they're great. Um, um, the last movie I went to was... Oh man, that's so embarrassing. I'm due for an, a movie date soon. Like a solo date, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Eventually I need to go to the movies. It doesn't matter how I end up there. But um uh I'm due for a movie date because the last time I went to the movies was uh pre-pandemic. I went to the movie theaters. Wait, am I lying? No, the last time I went to the movies. I saw the Marvel movie with, um, it's so bad, the Asian guy. Was it Seven Rings? I don't know what it was called, but it was really, 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 really good. And I love Marvel movies, so, like, that one was really, really good. Um, but, yeah, like, I have a giant screen TV. I have Netflix. I have HBO Max. I have Disney+. Plus. I have all these things that... To be honest, I don't really take advantage of. So um, I need to do a lot more. But my home is really a movie theater. So I don't really go to the movies. Oh, sugar honey is. Oh, we're still recording. Great. I don't really go to the movies like that. So yeah, I don't know. I I do need to go and see. But um, when I went to the movie theater and I saw that movie, it was so good. Like, I love anything Marvel anyways. So seeing that movie was great what did i always want to be when i was small i always wanted to be a lawyer i wanted to always defend people that you know couldn't defend themselves that was like my thing when i was younger like my little cousins would be she wasn't even that much younger than me she was like a year younger than me but like she would be bullied by this girl and like i didn't like it so i would always tell her off i would always like push her away and stuff like i was very like don't try her but um i also believed like being a lawyer was an honorable position because you know Guyana like you can there's so many things so many things that are corrupt that I wanted to correct so um even at a young age I was like yeah it's something I'm passionate about and I want to do obviously coming to the United States is a little bit different but um at the end of the day I love teaching I still think about becoming a lawyer and think about like what life would be like but for right now I'm good Eventually in life, maybe when I get older, that's something I can definitely try and be a part of. But if you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? 
guys i don't know i feel like and i want to have like an out of body experience like not actually me because i'm scared like what if something goes wrong but i've always wanted to go either bungee bungee dump blah, 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 can't talk bungee jumping or sky diving but those two things are really terrifying for me so i don't want to actually like do i want to feel it like you know feel like you're actually doing it and experience it like without actually getting hurt or like the actual like fear i can like separate myself from it instead of like yo i'm actually doing this right now and there's no way out kind of thing so um that's just what i've been thinking about i'm like i want to try it your favorite game or sport to watch and play you guys know i'm a cheerleader i love cheerleading like i love doing it i love watching it i love being part of it um but then my second best will be basketball because you know yeah, I love basketball. I don't know. I love cheering for basketball. I know a lot about basketball. Statistics wise, yeah, but like the game itself, like that's my game. Like I know the ins and outs. I might not be a, the best player, but um, yeah, basketball has been a sport I grew up with uh, all of high school. I've been cheering for it. So if you're cheering, you got to know what you're cheering for. Like, is my team going to be winning? Like, what do I want them to do next? Like, what is our goal? What cheer should we start sing, like saying to help support them to win this game? So like basketball, I love it. But cheerleading, that's my first love for sure. Like, I'd rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car. I'd rather ride a horse. I don't remember ever riding a horse ever in my life. I've always wanted to try it. I'd love to ride a horse. I think that would be really cool. What would you sing at karaoke night? Yeah, Whitney Houston is my girl, okay? And my go-to song every karaoke, like, doesn't matter what else I sing, like, I always circle back around and I make sure I sing this song. It is, um, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. She's like, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Beautiful song. Love it. Yes, my girl Whitney. Yeah, that's it. Every karaoke night, like, ask any of my friends. That's the song. I have my dance moves. I'm ready with a mic, and that's my song, for sure. <laughs> um, What two radio stations do you listen to in the car most? Um, I don't listen to the radio. I really don't. I go on YouTube, and I play my music. Like, I just know what I want, and that's it. Or I go on Apple Music, and that's it. I don't listen to the radio. I'm sorry. I also don't drive, so. But yeah, I don't listen to the radio. I just don't. What would you rather do? Wash dishes? Mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, I love cleaning the bathroom. Like, I find so much peace in the bathroom. Like, yeah, I love my um, living room. I love my dining room. I love my kitchen. I love my bedroom. But it's something about, like, cleaning the bathroom, because I use that a lot, obviously. Um, and, like, I wash my hair. Like, that's where I do a lot of my self-care, and I focus on myself and, like, peace, serenity. So, like, knowing that the bathroom is clean makes me at peace. Like, I can just go in there and chill. Like, I leave my phone outside, or, like, if I bring it in, it's on Do Not Disturb, and I'm playing some kind of show, movie, something, and I just, like, soak in the bath. Or like I do skincare or something like I love that so for sure cleaning the bathroom I love it <laughs> and it's just me I'm just cleaning up after myself so that's fine if you could hire someone to help you would it be with cleaning cooking or yard work I don't have a yard to clean because I live in an apartment so that's good excuse me so I would be between cleaning and cooking to be honest, I don't like cooking because of the cleaning up that you have to do, the prep that you have to do, all that stuff. Um, so I would hire someone to help me with cleaning because if I don't have to clean up after I finish cooking, that is the most beautiful feeling ever. Like they get to package everything away and put it away for me and my dishes are clean. Y'all, yeah, I would, I would hire, yeah, and knowing that my bathroom's clean, because I love a clean bathroom, I'd hire someone, and I'm always, like, 
moving things around and trying to renovate and all that stuff. So having somebody help me with cleaning would come in clutch because I'll be free to record more videos. I'll be free to cook a lot more, spend more time in my kitchen, do a lot more self-care. Like all that stuff will be amazing. So like y'all want to hire me, someone who can clean for me? Because that would be amazing. Like I would know that we're besties automatically. <laughs> I'm not getting through all these questions. We're going to have to do a part two. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Would it be charcuterie board? Not to sound like I'm a, a true Guyanese, but I am a true Guyanese. <laughs> the one thing I love, now nobody else in the world knows how to make the right way, unless they're Guyanese, is pepper pot. I love me some curry goat with pepper pot. Like, you find a real Guyanese person that knows how to make pepper pot, and that's it. So your heart, your mind, your everything. Like, I would eat pepper pot with rice. I would eat pepper pot with, um, I'm gonna try it with roti. I wonder if you can do that. I'll obviously eat it with bread because that's something that you always do. I would eat it with cook up. I would eat it with like cook up rice and peas, whatever you call it. Yeah, pepper pot. Pepper pot for sure. Um, who's your favorite author? My favorite author is Kate DiCamillo. She's great. She created um, Dishes Elephant. She also created um, Because of Wind Dixie. Um, those are two books that I, ooh, sorry guys. Those are books that I really enjoy reading. Um, at like to myself as you know, but also like to the students, and it was really good. But I had a nickname. What is it? Sorry, I can't understand me. But yeah, I do have a nickname. I have several nicknames. Obviously, Rennie is one of them. Mm. My family calls me Nato because my name is Renata. So Nato, they just took the middle part and add O at the end of this. Um, yeah. So yeah, I like. I guess that's my nickname. But I have many other nicknames. Princess, that's me. Oh, do you like or dislike surprises? Why or why not? Hate surprises because I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. I want to be in the know always, every time. Do not surprise me. Like, I will ruin it. <laughs> I will try to find out what's going on. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to pause the video here because, one, I'm getting really tired. Two, I have work in the morning. And pause for right now. We are definitely going to continue this. Maybe tomorrow, maybe another day. I don't really know. We gotta figure out the situation with the camera battery charger. But if you stuck around this long, obviously you're really interested in this kind of video and you obviously wanna see part two. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss whenever I post a new video. And then I got you, okay? Thanks for watching guys. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Appreciate you, bye.